Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. We're still here in Taipei, Taiwan. And for this vlog, I'm going to bring you guys along with me to Ximending. I think it's one of the nicer tourist spots here in the in Taipei. There's a lot of sneaker stores all over it. And we're going to check out some of the stores to see what's available. Apart from that, I'm going to share with you guys as well a roundup of all the limited edition Chinese New Year sneakers that we were able to find from Nike and Adidas. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are raffling away a brand new rose gold and black watch. All you guys have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. Go! Ximen Ding is literally peppered with a lot of Nike and Adidas stores all over the place. Just with Nike alone, we saw like a Nike Kicks Lounge. We saw your generic Nike store, and there was even a dedicated Nike running store. So there are Nike sneaker stores, apparel stores on either side of the street. So you will never miss out on Nike if you guys drop by that area. Apart from that, there are also a bunch of Adidas stores uh, ranging from, again, offerings from their basketball sneakers to their running sneakers and to all of the other good stuff that they have. We also saw a bunch of like ASICs and New Balance stores, uh, some of which you might find interesting if you guys end up in that area. Now, when it comes to the selection of the sneakers, there's nothing really super special about it because at the end of the day, these stores offer general release sneakers. Every now and then, they come up, of course, with limited edition sneakers, like right now, they are offering a lot, and I mean a lot of Chinese New Year themed sneakers because it is Chinese New Year here in Taiwan. And we'll get to that in a bit. Now, if there is like one interesting spot over there, I think it's a building called Shinjuku, which is oddly enough from Japan. And that is where most of the sneaker reseller stores that I found, at least the only sneaker reseller stores that I found so far here in Taiwan, in Taipei. Uh, we saw a lot of the BAPE uh, Ultra Boosts that just came out fairly recently, literally just sitting on top of a file of sneakers, of hype sneakers. We saw a bunch of Yeezys, a bunch of really nice Jordan ones. We saw a lot of off-white sneakers, especially the recent releases. We saw the, the Air Force One off-white in different colors, the Zoom Flies. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really your typical reseller store uh, selling a bunch of really hype sneakers. One observation though is that if you have wide feet, good luck. Uh, big feet rather, good luck. Chances are you won't be able to find sneakers for you here. Most of the time, the biggest size that I see is size 11. But on average, the sneakers here are size 9 to 10. Now, apart from the sneakers, there are also gadget stores that are pretty interesting because they sell like, uh, what they call this, a sneaker-inspired uh, electronics and accessories. There was a Yeezy power bank that I think you will only find here. Maybe in Green Hills in the Philippines, who knows? But yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will have a, a really good time just walking up and down the place, checking out the different sneakers, checking Shinju the Shinjuku building for the hype reseller sneakers, and maybe we can even have lunch or dinner at Mala Hot Pot, one of the nicer hot pots over here, and then have a foot massage in one of the foot massage uh, like stalls or shops in Ximending. Now let's get to the Chinese New Year sneakers. Let's start with Adidas. One of the things that we saw was an NMD with some sort of like dragon embroidered at the back. So it's a black, all black NMD. It has had red stripes along the sides. It had a silky black boost for the midsole. And topping it off is that embroidered dragon at the back. The cool thing about it is that since it is Chinese New Year here, it is on 10% sale. So you should be able to get it at a good price while the, stay, the sale is ongoing. There were also other Adidas uh, Chinese New Year sneakers that were definitely hype. I, of course, I'm talking about the Adidas, Adidas Pharrell Williams Boost You Wear. This is the one with ambition written on it. Uh, the red and gold colorway of the Boost You Wear. Definitely loud, definitely a head turner, and it is still sitting on shelves here in Taiwan. I did see a local release. I think Commonwealth is selling it in the Philippines, so you guys might want to check it out if you're still in Manila. Uh, we also saw the Adidas Pharrell Williams Solar Drive. This is the one in red with the Chinese characters imprinted at the top of the forefoot. So definitely one of the nicer Chinese New Year sneakers from Adidas that I've seen here in terms of design, look, and even packaging. And especially, it just looks so fire with the overall vibe that it delivers. One interesting shoe that I never saw get publicity 
is this Adidas AM4 made in Germany Chinese New Year sneaker. Very sleek black upper with, a, with a, it looked like a dragon fuse overlay along the side. Definitely one of the nicest boost equipped sneakers that I've seen. Not just Chinese New Year, but boost overall. It also had reflective material near the heel part. Definitely one of the nicest running shoes that you guys can pick up here in Taiwan. I'm not sure if it will get a wider release, but it was available here, uh, well, with this special edition. So if you are in Taiwan, you might want to pick that one up. Now, I, I think there was a Young 96 or a Young 1 Chinese New Year, but I really wasn't able to, to take too much attention on that one. Now that's it for Adidas. Now we move over to Nike. For Nike, they had an entire lineup of Chinese New Year sneakers. Let's kick things off with the Air Max 270. This is the one with the giant air bubble at the back. Uh, for this one, there are two colorways. For the men, it was a dominantly black and red colorway. Black upper with red accents and some sort of like Chinese New Year festive markings along the side. Uh, the white silver version for women actually was a much better option in my op in, in my opinion. A clean white look with the red and festive accents along the side. Definitely a, a head turner, turner and a cleaner pair of kicks. We also had the Pegasus Turbo Chinese New Year Edition, one of the most comfortable sneakers that you guys can run in today. So it had a dominantly black upper and it's accented with a gold swoosh along the lateral and the medial side. It also had like a red stripe running across the middle and some sort of like praying hands up uh, like literally plastered on the midsole on the white midsole very rim and they had like a bunch of apparel using the same like action so i think that's the official symbol or logo for chinese new year that uh, nike is using there's also a pegasus turbo version for the women so both men and women have their options for actually all of the shoes in this lineup we also had like a blazer low uh, in black and in red and there was also like a white version for the ladies nothing really too special one of the more cheaper options though so if you just like will have want to buy like one chinese new year shoe and you had or you had like a very low budget this is the one that you guys pick up there was also the vapor max utility in an all red colorway definitely striking and head turning and neck breaking so if you are a fan of the vapor max utility you still have an option with that particular shoe speaking of vapor maxes we also had the familiar vapor max flyknit this one had the black upper and red accents so if you are a fan of the original vapor max silhouette and you want to buy something for chinese new year this is the one that you guys pick up for the lead these, I think there was like some sort of like white version for the Vapor Max 2019. I did the review on that by the way. Make sure that you guys check out the link down below. There was a, a cool looking, almost off white, sail light bone colorway uh, for the men. So, actually, in my opinion, among all the Chinese New Year releases, this would be the best uh, together with the Pegasus Turbo. Definitely a nice looker. I would have copped if there was a size for me uh, apart from that there were also air maxes in red and in white and lastly we did also find a zoom fly uh, sp in white and red for the chinese new year so again you have an entire lineup of sneakers just for chinese new year here in taipei taiwan both from adidas and nike i wasn't able to check all the other brands but i i, I distinctly remember also an offering from new balance when i dropped by one of their stores over at one of the hype streets here uh, so I think most of the sneaker stores and the sneaker brands are offering a Chinese New Year themed shoe. So that actually wraps up our Chinese New Year sneaker roundup as well as our Xi Ding vlog. So like what I mentioned earlier for Xi Ding, it's mostly general release sneakers. But there is a hype store just down the corner with Shin, the Shinjuku building. So if ever you find yourself here or if ever you are thinking of going here, though that's probably the main reason why you should go. It's really just the assortment of general release sneaker stores that probably have like options for you and uh, and the reseller stores. Uh, if you are looking for hype pairs so that's actually it for this vlog guys i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on instagram and most importantly please don't forget to check out the entire taiwan series that i am working on i do have a bunch of vlogs related to sneakers and even some travel vlogs coming out in the next few days so make sure that you guys uh, get to watch them when you can and if you haven't yet, please do binge watch the entire series so you get to enjoy them. I will also put a link down below to my Japan series. I also did like a Japan series where I did like a Harajuku, jai, Harajuku sneaker shopping guide, the Shibuya sneaker shopping guide, all of which can be found down below. That's it for now. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.